uh, I was at a book signing in Nashville last night, and a lady walked up, and it was beautifully wrapped, and she said, this is a present for the, you know, the best cook in the world. I just thought it was so sweet. And, uh, we could go hang it for me. Yeah, we're going to. i got to find a tiny little nail. I'll get you one. Finding a hammer and a nail is not a big problem in a family of people who used to be carpenters, so. Yeah. She cooked for big-haired waitresses at the Fuzzy Duck Lounge, shiny-eyed pilgrims at the Congregational Holiness Summer Campground, and crew-cut teenage boys who read comic books beside her banana pudding, then embarked for Vietnam. She cooked, most of all, to make it taste good, to make every chip melamine plate a poor man's banquet, because how do you serve dull food to people such as this? I mean, I've always, when I was 11 or 12 year old, I liked to cook. And uh, it's just something, I, but I like to cook food that tastes good. And I, if I cook something and it's not right, I won't let nobody eat it. I start wearing a hat. <laughs> a hat or a cap? Whatever covers the biggest part of my head. <laughs> Well, if we run to town and grab some lunch, I'm sure you can't go with us. Well, I think I'll just lodge in my chair. All right, can we bring you something? Well, there's a small controversy in why we named it the best cook in the world. Uh, my mom was not wild about bragging on her own cooking. So I, she said, what would you even call a book like that? And I said, we're going to call it the best cook in the world. And she told me, well, I, I wasn't even the best cook that lived on our road. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do for a sincere bath. <laughs> uh, you know, country dogs, we never did give them a bath. She, uh, she kind of relented. And I said, besides, it's what I think. I think you're the best cook in the world, and I'm sure my brothers think you're the best cook in the world. And quite a few other people say she's the best cook in the world. Pardon me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. But I'm going to put it in glass. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 I mean, look, I know this probably sounds corny, but it means home. You know, what's walking in that kitchen and smelling bacon cornbread? Yeah. She got her some concrete chickens because the, the fox <laughs> can't get them. So. Yeah. You okay? That wore you out, didn't it? No, I'm okay. Y'all be a shame.